What's up guys, this is Bricks of Light signing in and welcome back to Devil May Cry. Another day, another 10 minutes of Devil May Cryness with Mission 8. We've got a guide, guide as always. Okay, the first one is after defeating Phantom. Okie dokie. There's none before it, there's none after it, there's none during. Any extras I can buy? Nope. Any extras for Alistair? Nope. Should I buy an untouchable? Nah, I'll save it to be honest. I'll save it for the power ups because I need to try and get all the power ups anyway to get get to another achievement. I might save it for the four thousand one because I, not, I not, might need a hike for when things. Okay, let's uh, let's get on with this, shall we? There's more red orbs over here. Just gash her, they gash across. There we go. Can we go through here? Well, this is the new door. Let's go see what's in here. Then I think this is the phantom area. Because you've got to, like, jump on this. Oh, no, you don't. Where's the horse? I think it might be able to get it soon, or is it after the phantom fight? It might be after the fight, yeah, because you go to the doors and the doors lock. Okay, let's deal with phantom first, then. Then we can um, have some fun. So, apparently, there's only three in this mission, though. So, I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad I'm, I'm hoping I can get all three. Oh, no, he's powered up, look. Same with me, Klondike. Finally, I was getting tired of playing your childish game. There we go. Yeah, because you fight him three different times before this. So, seeing him now in his full frontal mode seems a lot better for the Vine fights. Does it not? Do we? Do we? Okay, the guy's fucking kicking my ass. But if I go on his back, I've always found it to be easier to fight him on, the, on his back. This is what I've always done. I've always, I've always found, uh, every time I've managed to go onto his back, I've done some major amounts of damage. I like how he's in number two, in number... Is he in number two? He is in number two. He's not in the third game. Because it was well before his time. He's, he's in two twice, actually. So is Griffin, which makes number two just absolutely fucking awesome. Oh, there we go. Good old. Let's watch all these cutscenes because obviously we need to get thumbnail out of it. We need to get the outro out of it as well. Then he gave up, knowing he wouldn't be able to fight him. But he's not dead dead, he comes back, which is quite nice. Unless it's a different phantom, that's why you don't have no interaction with him. Or one of his babies, maybe. Would make sense. Okay, so this is above the horses. I would expect Trish. Oh, it's fucking Dante is a devil, or half devil at least. Right, are the horses through there? Oh, lovely amount of freaking red orbs. Yeah, I think we just jump down here. Oh, never mind. Ah, the trident of power, of course. I need that. So now you know where to go. Right, okay, is it up? Is it on the left horse or is it on the right horse? Onto the, towards the horse's back. That's not where I wanted to go, game. Thank you, though. You've been a prick. Oh, it's up there. I see it. Okay, so before dropping down to the horses, use Stinger to lunge off the cliff towards the horse. So jump onto the horse's back, then onto its head. Jump towards the wall and kick jump off to the reach. Okay, so I need to jump on its back. Not falling in the whole game. That'd be lovely. Please. So back, head. Back, back. On, on his back. Come on, doofus. What are you doing? Light ugh, fucking small jumps. I can't jump on his head. Dante's stupid. Ugh, come on. He did say use the other, other platform. Let's see if we can go back up there. It feels like that's the way to do it. He said use Stinger to get across this. 
I'll just do that. That's an even better fucking way of doing it. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Nah, I've got, I've got a better way than you. Just go up to a freaking top platform and just do it from there, right? Is there anything in this area? Right, left hand wall to wait in the room where you use the trident. I've probably already found that. We'll soon see. Right, let's open the bridge, I believe, or open one of the gates. Let's open the bridge, okay. I need to go that way soon. And he's got a needle gun for me. You can see it laying on the ground. Or is it a grenade launcher? I think this is the needle gun, not the grenades. What is it? Scrubs a soldier into the castle and he's holding something. Ah, uh, grenade gun. Yeah, we don't need that just yet. Not just yet. We use it for the death desperate times, that one. Okay, so it should be in here, apparently. Left hand waterway in the room. Yeah, so this is what you can find earlier in the game. It's still there, though. It's just a reappearance of it. I don't know why they've written down here, though, because if you miss it the first time, you can get it again here. But it's not there this time around, so I've already got that one. Unless it was supposed to be there originally, but then the game bugs. It's like, oh, it's in this area. You haven't done anything fulfilling to get it there. Unless it turns up now. Okay. Right. Well, there's nothing there anyway, so it must be right-hand water trail from in the gate of the room. Yeah, let's use it again. We know what we're doing. I know the way out. <laughs> I know the fast ways out. Excuse me, skeleton people, things. Got a gate. To, I think we've gone the wrong way, haven't I? No, we haven't. Should be okay if we go through here. Shouldn't be too hard to get under. Boop, boop. Right. In this one? No, it's on the other side. Bit, bit, bit. There we go. Right. That's all of them in this area, then. All right. Is that the end of the level? Seriously? I'm getting so annoyed about how easy these levels are going to be. Oh my god! <laughs> Is that an S rank? Because I did it in speed? Gotta be. I needed more orbs then from somewhere. Probably killing those things on, on the, on the um, way down into the room. That might have done the trick. But oh well. Can't win them all. You cannot win them all. But anyway, I am going to leave that there for today with this video of Devil May Cry 1. Mission 8 was over and easily done with. Not hard to do at all. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. And I'm going to leave you with Welcome to the Masquerade by Thousand Foot Clutch, crutch, crotch, clitch, clutch, clack. I don't know, but I'll say it in the description anyway. Enjoy! I'm not afraid, I'm not ashamed.